It's been a long time since I smoked, 2006, but I'm doing this just because cigarettes and smoke kind of look good to camera. Yeah, so here I am. My name's Richard Mark Dobson. I call myself a vibe artist, and uh, as you'll see from the introduction to my YouTube channel loaded with uh, lots of light and dark and shadow and mood and vibe. And I'm uh, holding a very, very, very precious uh, piece of equipment in my hand. It's a Nikon F4, bought from a photographer that I know in Hong Kong. Um, 1994 I bought this from Bob Davis and Bob Davis um, you probably won't know but if you lived in Hong Kong there's a very good chance you would know because Bob kind of knew everybody or everybody knew Bob uh, Bob was a photographer ran a very successful agency photo agency called the stock house and Certainly, uh, Bob's a go-to guy for anything photographic. And uh, certainly, uh, all the famous photographers would come through Hong Kong. They'd be uh, entertained by Bob. He'd take them to the FCC, to his favorite corner of the bar, and buy everybody drinks. Uh, and that's where I met Bob. And uh, he mentioned he had a camera for sale one day. Uh, my uh, FM2 was looking very worse for wear. I'm gonna put this cigarette out. It tastes terrible and I'm worried it's gonna start me smoking again. I haven't touched a cigarette for 14 years. So let me just put that out. So uh, Bob, um, yeah, my FM2 was all beaten up and uh, in need of an upgrade and this was in very good condition when I bought it as it still is now. Nikon F4. Sadly, Bob today is not in a good way. He's um, got Alzheimer's, uh, but um, this camera is my connection to Bob and I'm gonna cherish it pretty much for as long as I'm here. And uh, it's a beautiful camera, solid, nice weight, really nice ergonomics, sounds great. Click, click, click. Real working mechanism in there. Cogs and dials pulling film around the back of the film gate, the shutter gate, onto the take up spool. So it's all proper engine in there, proper motor, unlike the digital cameras where it's all kind of software, kind of fuzzing and fizzing about inside. This is uh, a real uh, gears and cogs. And uh, yeah, that's why I love this camera so much. I'm gonna put a roll of film in it. Here it is. Uh, I haven't had one of these in my hand for a while. And uh, do love the smell of film. And loading a camera is kind of like loading a gun, I guess. It's uh, sort of clunk, 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 lots of metal on metal, metal canister on the metal interior of the camera. Dropping the spool dial down and then getting your uh, take up film lead into the take up chamber. And then we'll give it a, a good clunk and we should be in business. I heard a little zip, that means it's kind of taken up the film. And there we go. We're getting going, we're getting in action. 
And you will notice that I uh, leave up this little rewind handle. Uh, always useful to know that you film's actually been caught up properly on the take-up spool and that you're drawing film across the back of the, the gate. But otherwise, if you sometimes rushing around, trying to get things going, trying to get pictures, uh, it's sometimes you don't get it connected properly. And the film's just sort of sitting there, not being dragged across the shutter gate. And uh, you, you by, the, by the time you get to sort of frame 350, you realize there's something wrong. A 36 frame roll of film. So yeah, this, uh, this is like a little trick, a little spinning wheel in front of my face, just to make sure we're all in business. But uh, we're gonna be talking in my YouTube channel um, about a lot of different things, about photography, obviously, uh, art. Why have I started a um, YouTube channel? Well, obviously, seems like everybody else has but uh, that's not the reason I don't think uh, and it's not really even about the hits or the likes but um, it's certainly about we all understand uh, just what tremendous uh, reach YouTube has and um, it's a great platform for advertising yourself and if you're a sm an artist small business or you are a business as Jay-Z would say I'm a business man I think it's um, kind of uh, foolish to ignore the potential in uh, YouTube to be able to um, yeah free advertising and I'm gonna advertise myself yeah I think a, a short bi-monthly broadcast is the way to go and I'm gonna make my channel look good uh, <clears throat> even if the educational content is uh, negligible or maybe even zero but um, yeah I'm gonna keep you awake by um, playing some visual vibe I think the audio visual platform is, um, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a great platform I mean here I get to uh, present some still images um, add some video add some voiceovers some words uh, music um, and uh, I think we all have stories to tell and uh, the audio visual platform is a great storytelling um, platform medium um, I'm learning about it it's not something I've done very much of but um, I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying just seeing what I can achieve and uh, please bear with me because yeah big learning curve um, but I'm gonna do my best and I'm hoping my channel um, will find an audience, um, obviously with other photographers, but um, art, art lovers, uh, collectors of art. Uh, I'm gonna use it as a platform to um, talk a little bit, go into the methodology of, of my work, um, how the ideas came about, um, some of the behind the scenes, uh, anecdotal stuff, uh, just, um, yeah, presenting my uh, myself, kind of a um, visual diary, and a um, just an interesting um, portal, I think, for uh, experimentation. And all good intentions here, really. Uh, I think I'm gonna make it try and make it seem relevant to you all, even if it isn't. I think that's it. That's all I can do. Just. Uh, do my best and uh, enjoy the process of uh, putting stuff out. And thank you for uh, watching. See you in two weeks. Good night. Cut. Done. I hope so.